In this video, I will show you how to add audio spectrum in CapCut. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on CapCut. So I'm doing this on PC, but these steps are the same if you're doing this on a mobile device. Now, what you wanna do, of course, is go ahead and add your video first of all. So you can see I've created this video. Then what you need to do is come up to the top left-hand corner and you wanna click onto the stickers icon just up here. From here, what you're gonna to want to do, you're gonna see a search box at the top so you want to click onto the search box go ahead and type audio and then press enter now here is the audio spectrum sticker here so what you're going to want to do is click onto this to download it and as you can see it's going to give us a preview of what this looks like so what you want to do is click and hold and just drag this onto your timeline above your video so once that's been added what we can now do is adjust the size of this by using the corners around here and we can drag this anywhere onto the video so it looks like this we can go ahead and add another one as well. So we can join this up to the first one, just like so. And we can add a further one. You can do as many of these as you want, really. It's completely up to you, but we can keep adding these. So I'm just gonna add three for now. And then what we can do is play this to preview what it looks like. And as you can see, we've added this cool audio spectrum in CapCut. So that is how to add an audio spectrum in CapCut. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.